Hey guys, it's me, Stand and Things. I am still around, don't worry. Um, you're probably all wondering where my videos went. That's a long story that I'm not gonna go into right now. But they're back, they're all there, so yeah, you can watch them again if you like. Um, I am in the Fabia. I thought I'd do a little video um, about what I've done to the car and to let people know that this is actually the performance bargain. It, 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 it's one of the best value for money hot hatches you can buy and not a lot of people realize that. Um, so I'm just gonna walk around it now. Mine's a little bit messy. So here it is, white on white. Um, that's how it came. So I chose the white wheels, bought it brand new about three and a half years ago. So if you can see that, there it is. That's a cat back, um, two and a half inch. Um, it's got a few other little subtle modifications that everyone should do to this car, um, but not a lot of people do. So, uh, where is the, oh crap, it's on the other side. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. It's a daily driver, so you know, forgive it. Yeah, it's very professional. Right, okay, so, in there you've got a 1.4 litre engine. It's twin charge, so it's got a turbo and a supercharger, which is just hilarious. Um, from the factory, they make about 180 horsepower, um, and you can map them to about 220 and about 250 foot-pound of torque. My one uh, has a little box here, as you can see, because the ECU, you couldn't um, tune it back when we bought this, so it's got a nice uh, tuning box that does about the same kind of thing, 200 horsepower, um, really livened up the car. Um, another thing that we did was, now, can't really see it, I think the turbo's here, at the back here, right there, is the supercharger. Now, from the factory, they come with this kind of protective plastic uh, cover that has a um, sound deadening in it, quite thick, and it's to stop it making that cool whiny noise, you know, the supercharger noise, which isn't much fun, is it? So I took it all off. Um, I took it all off just to be able to hear the supercharger for, you know, for shits and giggles, and I accidentally discovered something. Um, I noticed that the car became much quicker, much quicker from idle all the way up to two and a half thousand or wherever it is it crosses with the turbo. Um, and I, I learned that the reason for that is because the soundproofing material, it, it causes the supercharger to get too hot and as such loses a bit of power. Um, now that I've taken that off, the supercharger is cooler and as such, you know, colder air is denser and, and it makes more power and it's really noticeable. It is a complete little animal for, off idle. I mean, I've never known a car so sharp. This car is so quick. You have to be really careful how, how you press the throttle because it will just light up the wheels in the first three gears. It's, it's hilarious. Um, what else I've done to it is the exhaust, as you noticed. That made a, a big difference with the uh, response. Um, I took out the midsection, so it's a straight through, just, just a back box. Um, that combined with the uh, sound deadening removal has made a massive difference to the car for day-to-day -day driving. All right, let's put this back down. Okay, so moving into the car, it's a four-door. Um, it's not particularly handsome, but it's really practical. I mean, I'm six foot tall, and my driver's seat here um, oh God, I've got an SLR, so I'm struggling to understand how to use this thing. There we go. Is that sharper? So this is the driver's seat, and I put it all the way back. Six foot tall, and I've got enough legroom. I really do. It's it's really comfortable. Um, for such a small car, it's got an incredible amount of space, and the boot. I've got, I've got to show you the boot, it's ridiculous. It's really embarrassing though, because it's an absolute mess. The boot on this thing is carnivorous, it really is. <laughs> That's a link pipe for the S3, long story. Um, it's massive. I've taken a 60 inch plasma screen in this. Not just, not a modern day one, I'm talking an old school pioneer from 
oh, 10, 12 years ago. Massive television. And it put the seats down and it fits. It's incredible. It's an amazing size boot. I think it's bigger than a Golf. Um, so it's a really practical car. Really practical car. Um, it never ceases to amaze me. Sure, it doesn't handle that well, I'll give it that. It doesn't stop that well. Um, but it does 45 to the gallon all day, every day. In town, um, in stop-start traffic, it'll do 30 plus, um, which is ridiculous. And it actually improved, the miles per gallon improved when I took off the sound deadening off the supercharger. So that's interesting. Um, this is gonna be embarrassing again. You've got two glove boxes, which is pretty cool. Um, little cubby holes, they take full-size bottles. I mean, it's, it's, it's a really practical car. Um, you know, I've got climate control. I don't have sat-nav, but I mean, this car, brand new, costs 12,000 pounds. And it's really freaking fast. You've got a seven-speed flappy paddle gearbox, DSG. Really fast, lightning-fast gear changes. This car's been known by certain individuals to do naught to 60 in like five seconds, and I, I believe it. Um, they got a reputation for blowing up engines. It's true, they do. Um, however, if you get a model like mine, which is a 2013 onwards, they were fixed. In fact, Skoda are the guys that fixed the engine. Volkswagen made it, had loads of fault, and Skoda are the ones that actually put it right. And I have not had any issues at all with this car, none. Um, it's never even drank any oil. So if you, if you're scared about picking one up, don't be, but just make sure it's a 2013 onwards. They don't have any problems. Um, economical, it's fast, it's fun. It's a really good car. And me and the missus are always talking about, oh, we don't need it, we should sell it. But we always just come back to it and we just love it. The seats are comfortable. They're really well bolstered. These are better than the Audi S3 seats, which is just embarrassing for Audi. They offer more support and they're more comfortable. Um, it's just a great car, it really is. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, next week I'm going to Germany um, with a bunch of uh, guys with their S3s, Golf R's, Sirocco's. Um, I've got this new fancy camera which I'm struggling to understand how to use, but hopefully I should sort it out. I've got some cool equipment for it as well. Should get some good footage, it's gonna be a laugh. So, you know, please like, subscribe and share. Um, my GTI Club Sport is still due to arrive towards the end of the year. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all positive. It's all good. So anyway, yep. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, like or subscribe. Nice one. Thank you. Bye-bye.